clap. Resurrection one, resurrection one. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Um, so turn to somebody on your left and your right and tell the person, wherever you travel to, welcome. <laughs> That means if you have not traveled yet, you don't know Kotoka Airport, God will take you to Kotoka Airport first. And then afterwards, then you will go up. <laughs> so tell the person, welcome. You're welcome to the service. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, we, for the first time in ministry, apart from the fact that I lived out, outside for a while, I had to miss um, Easter. And um, I, I, I had to miss Easter because I was also speaking in, I was also somewhere in Bangalore, India. And I, I was doing some good things for God over there. Hallelujah. So, yeah, clap for me for going. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to know that um, from time to time now, I will be um, maybe like a week, two weeks. Uh, as a, <laughs> a week or two weeks, I may just dash out and uh, dash in. I, I, I don't want to be limited by these four walls. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I turn to somebody and tell the person, welcome. <laughs> wow, what a privilege it is to be in the house of God and there's no place like living streams. Amen. No place in I think this morning to my my uncle is also here for for it's it's not T D Jakes, it's it's my uncle. <laughs> uh, that's my dad's direct cousin and uh, he's here to fellowship with us. Um, well, wow, do these people look like resurrection people? Yeah. Amen. I, I enjoyed first service, so it wasn't, it wasn't easy. These days, I think the anointing is with first service people. Uh, sometimes, second service people, they are dolu, 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 dolu. <laughs> There's a tent to someone tell us, you know, Dolu Dolu around me. <laughs> yeah. Amen. One of the things that I found about everybody knows the Easter story, everybody knows that Jesus rose up from the dead and the grave is still empty. Everybody knows. But you can choose to look at the resurrection story through the eyeglasses of just a picture. Or you can look at it through the eyeglasses of just an event. Or you can look at it through the eyeglasses of the purpose. Or you can look at it through the eyeglasses of principle. And for me, when I'm looking at scripture, I don't just want to meander through the pages of history. I, I don't just want to just... Uh, go a gallivanting in the mazes of events. But for me, I look out for the principles because it's the principles that I learn from that betters my life. Christianity is not just an encounter with God. Christianity goes beyond an encounter. Christianity is a walk with God. Hallelujah. God in our hearts walking with us through everyday everyday issues everyday challenges everyday opportunities if you agree with me give the Lord a wave offering yeah. how marvelous how wonderful and my song shall ever be Marvelous, how wonderful is my 
just love for I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene
Father, in the name of Jesus, and I give you the praise. Thank you, Father, this morning, and we give you the praise. Write your word upon the tablets of our hearts. Instruct us in your ways. Let everyone leave this place, oh God. Hearts that are lifted. In Jesus' name. Amen. How many of you have watched this film before, Mission Impossible? Your question? Your question? Auntie Rose hasn't watched it. <laughs> okay. We thank God. If Auntie Rose has watched it, then everybody, if you have not watched it, how many of you have watched Mission Impossible? Mission Impossible. Dan. Dan, 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 dan. Dan, 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 dan. Dan, 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 dan. Dan, 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 dan. How you not watch it? Uh, come on. So tell someone, the title of this message is Dan. Dan, 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 dan. Dun, 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 dun. Mission impossible. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I, I just realized that on the, on the, the story of, of the resurrection, there are so many principles. One of them just makes me laugh. And that's what I come to address to you. You know, there are some things about you that when God wants to do, the men may try to stop it, but they can't stop it. Hallelujah. Amen. One way or the other, God will find a way to make it impossible for them. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Tell the person you will try. And you may do everything. But dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, if you feel like clapping, just give the Lord a clap offering right now. Celebrate for what is coming. Celebrate for the good things that God has in store for you this morning. Turn with me your Bibles. We're going to read three scriptures and I'm going to pick the principles from it quickly and then we'll close. Now, in the book of Matthew chapter 27, from 62 to 66, Matthew chapter 27, 62 to 66, all right, let's all read it together, ready to let the devil be ashamed, read it so that somebody who's sitting by you will be worried, provoke the person. Tell the person, someone's there, you're looking nice. Tell the person, you're looking nice. Should I give you lipstick? <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, let's, let's read on now. now. Let's read it together. Now, this is not resurrection scripture. This is not the way you're reading it. Okay, Yapon, let's, let's go home. Okay, now, so let's read it properly. Now, the next day, wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 before you even go on. Say it again. Now, the next day. 
You know one of the things, there are three days in your life. Yesterday, today, and the next day. Now yesterday, it may, may be um, uh, some things might have happened yesterday. Some things didn't go right yesterday. Some things didn't figure out yesterday. And today, even maybe some things have never fixed out properly. But I tell you, I came to tell you this morning, there is always in the calendar of God, there is always in the calendar of God for your life, in the timetable of God for your life. Jump from your chair and scream at somebody the next day. The next day. Abba, 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 Abba. The way you're saying it, I can't feel your excitement. There is always a next day. Yesterday you saw me crying and today you saw my head bow. But there is always a next day, the next day, the next day. Hallelujah. Hey. And by the way, the, the, the next day is not now. The next day is tomorrow isn't it but when god wants to do something the next day he declares it now because in him there's no time he's the beginning and he's the end the alpha and the omega he stands and calls the things that be not as though they were so in god time is invested in him he has no beginning and he has no end so god stands and even though it's your tomorrow he says and uh, oh, am i talking to someone and uh, and uh, now, 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 I believe that something is going to happen to somebody. I believe somebody's about to progress. I believe somebody's about to promote it. I believe somebody's about to prosper. I believe somebody's about to break through. And it is, and now, the next day. Hallelujah. We can give a clap offering to the Lord right now. Let somebody feel ashamed. Let somebody feel intimidated. Let somebody quake in their seat. I know there's something good, something powerful, something progressive, something prosperous. It's coming somebody's way. If it is you, I say, it is me. And now the next day, let's read on, let's try to be spiritual. Now the next day, that followed the day of the preparation the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate wow well, what were they preparing for I said oh, what are you preparing for <laughs> oh no 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 uh, li listen we're going to have church here or uh, we'll close or have a catholic service alright which one do you like you want church don't you? Okay, let's say it to the man. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, tell someone, what, what are you preparing for? And who are you preparing for? The next day of a preparation, when somebody dies, they prepare for, they prepare some things. It's like a memorial service. It is like a closure of the things that happened to the person. It's an end of the person's story. And they were preparing. But tell somebody, you will prepare but you won't find me over there. You will prepare to celebrate my my, 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 my my sorrow. You prepare to celebrate my sadness. You prepare to celebrate my valley. But by the time you come, my address has changed. I said, my address has changed. My address has changed. Now, the next day that followed the day of the preparation, what preparation? The chief priest... Oh, I thought we were reading it together. Oh, now you are making me read. Uh, oh, you like it? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Minini. Minini. Dun, dun. The question is, okay. The chief priests and the Pharisees came together onto Pilate. Tell somebody, go together. Go. Keep going. No, say, say the way I'm saying it. Say it like a proper Labadi person who wants to provoke uh, a fight. Go, 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 go together. I don't know how to say it in never. Hey, we would have a good food. Saying, sir, we remember that the deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days, I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until, until, until 
the third day now let me tell you something about the days bible says a day to the lord is like a thousand years to men a day to the lord is like a thousand years to men after the death of christ we have a first day that's one thousand second day that is two thousand where are we i said where are we you have to admit that there are things that are in the bible they are not just there for decorative purposes it was the third day that they told david the king the man who is looking for you is dead it was the third day do, do you understand i said it was the third day that esther walked into the into the into the king's chamber and demanded that the people that a blessing it was the third day am i talking to somebody so we are in the what in the third day you will hear good news you hear good news in the third day you will gain favor in the third day we are moments of favor and we are moment of god's blessing go from your chair and say i can feel the third day And the Bible says they came together. That's I'm going to go, go, go with him. Go with him. Go with him. Oh, say properly. Go, 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 go with him. Uh, the, I have to, because I'm a multilingual person. <laughs> so I have to say it in every. Huh? Eh? Mijo? Mijo? Somebody said, Dogo Lafima. Mijo? No, Mijo means let's go. But you go. Okay, Mijo means let's go. Okay, Yejo. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's all okay, Yejo, Yejo. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible says they, they said they went to him and they said, Command. Uh, okay, command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away. And he say unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Mm. Pilate said unto them, You have a watch. Go your way, make it sure as you can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. And then, the sister says, eh? okay, then Matthew 28, 2 to 4, that's them. Matthew 20, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and I like that, <laughs> you know, okay, let's read on. Three. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Right. And then Matthew um, 28 11 to 15. 28 11 to 15. Now, when they were gone, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priest all the things that were done. And when they were going, behold, some of the watch, okay, uh, 11 to 15, so 12. 11 to 15. I like this part. And when they were assembled with the elders and are taking counsel, they gave large money to the soldiers. Tell somebody, give me something right now. Me, I'll take it. Oh, come on. What are you doing? I tell somebody, you don't, you're not expecting anything. Hurry up and give me something so that I'll keep quiet. As some of the, the things I know, give me something so that I'll keep quiet. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say, yes, his son came by night and stole him away while we slept. Right. And if this comes to the governor's yes, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Wow. Now I'm very, very interested. Look here. Some here are a few principles. There are some things that are happening over there. Now be careful when I talk about principles because people are saying I imitate him in a, a, a first principle, principle number one. So now I'm known as principle number one and principle number two. They know themselves. <laughs> they know themselves. <laughs> but I forgive them. <laughs> now I'm spiritual here. When we finish, then we can finish our, our this thing. Now the Bible said they they 
there are some things that are happening over there. The first thing that surprises me, did you kill the man? Did they kill the man? Was the man dead? They made sure the man was dead. They made sure the man was dead. They put him in a tomb. Did they put him in a tomb? And they put a stone there. And they sealed the place. And, and they put soldiers there. But, but, but why were they worried? I, why were they worried? You know, so even the man had not yet risen. And they were, they were worried. Even though the man had not even gotten up. They were worried. Why? Because there's a promise of God. And the promises of God are yea and amen. And when the promises of God are made, no matter what happens, you know that one way or the other, it is going to happen. Am I talking to somebody? Can I tell you something? They knew he would get up. I said they knew they were uneasy. They knew that they can't keep him in that grave. They knew that something would happen. They were not sure what it is. They were guessing and said people will steal him away. When the people steal a dead body, what are they going to do with it? A dead body is not going to matter to them anyway. But they knew that something was about to happen. So they were uneasy. They were, not, they were worried. They were perplexed. I came to say to you that men can put you in a particular place. But because of the promise of God upon your life, one way or the other, they always know that something good is going to happen hallelujah the brothers of, of joseph they said here comes the dreamer let us kill him and then let us see what will happen to his dreams they knew that there's something he was carrying something hallelujah they knew he was carrying something when moses was born pharaoh made a law and said all the male born child should be killed why he knew something was about to happen when daniel was put in the lion's den you have put somebody in a lion's den and the lions are hungry what are you going to look there for but the bible said the next day he got up to go and see whether daniel was still in the lion's den he knew that something was are about to happen. Am I talking to somebody? You may not expect a miracle but the unbeliever is expecting a miracle over your life. You may not believe God for anything. You may not see anything about you but somebody around you is seeing something about you and the person says ah, 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 ah. God is about to do something. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Turn to somebody and say I don't know where you are coming from. I don't know what is wrong with you. The way you are not responding to Reverend Marcus Reverend Marco is raising you up and you're not even responding. Whether you believe it or not, whether you are aware of not, I can see something around you. Something is about to happen. Something is moving. Something is shaking. Something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. Jump from your chair and say, it's going to happen. Something's moving. Something's changing. See his glory. Something's moving, something's moving, something's changing, something's glowing, something's moving, something's moving, something's changing, something's glowing, just like heaven on earth. By the way, look at how God introduces his moves. Oh, God could have just walked quietly and raised the sun and raised the sun quietly. <laughs> God could have moved quietly, isn't it? There are some things that God does, he does quietly. But there are some things that when God is doing, he has to make some noise. I know you, you don't like noise. Eh? You are cool. Tell someone and say, cool, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, greet someone and say, brother, cool. <laughs> brother, cool. Sister, deep freezer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You like cool. Uh, look at how God said. He said, I'm about to do something for somebody. I'm about to do something for somebody. And I'm not going to keep quiet about it. There's going to be an earth quick. Ah. God said, I'm going to announce it in grand style. I'm going to do it with noise. I'm going to do it with a shift. Now, my geography teaches me that for that to be an earthquake, there's something in the earth, the earth rocks or the earth plates, the stones in the earth, the big, big stone. And they call them Teutonic 
stones or tectonic plates. Uh, 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 now, you, you, you see, I told you that geography, I could hardly get, if I get 28%, <laughs> then God has moved. Yes, it, there are subjects I decided I'm not going to learn. And I decided I will fail. Because I don't understand longitude and latitude. It was very confusing. But I know something. I know that for there to be an earthquake, earthquakes are caused by tectonic rock shifting. So the rocks shift. And when the plates shift, then you will hear there. Now, God wants to do something. You raise your son up quietly and let everybody know that this is a quiet thing. But God said, no. I need to make some noise. I need to, I need to make some noise. So God goes, God goes the kukudu way. I said, God goes the kukudu way. Did I tell you about the man I met at the petrol dump? He hasn't got teeth in his mouth. And then somebody said, Kukudu, they say, for see. <laughs> Kukudu, they say, for see. <laughs> hey, I said, when God decides to do it, he doesn't want to keep quiet about it. Because you're so important and you're so powerful, he needs to announce what he's about to do in your life with a big announcement. So, you know what? I see an earthquake. I see an earthquake. Something is going to shift. Something is going to move on your behalf. There's a divine rearrangement. There's a divine rearrangement. There's a divine rearrangement. Jump from your chair and say, it is shifting. It is working. It is working for your good. I said, it is working. And it is working for your good. Am I talking to somebody? It is shifting. It is shifting. It is shifting. It is working. It is working for my good. It is working, working for my good. All things are possible, I believe. All things are possible, I believe. It is working. It is working, working for my good. It is working. It is working, working for my good. All things are possible, All things are possible. Hallelujah. I prophesy an earthquake in somebody's life. I prophesy an earthquake in somebody's business. I prophesy an earthquake in somebody's marital issues. I prophesy an earthquake in somebody's prosperity. And if you agree with it, lift up your voice and say, That's me. Tell somebody, you know it, you know it. You know that something will happen, you know. Or that you are pretending you don't know, you know it. Oh, you people, ah, you don't know how to, you are Christians, you are Christians. I say it like a woman who knows how to quarrel. Hmm? Is it proper? Oh, no, no, buko. Say it like, no. That's something women do, they know how to quarrel. Shit! What's this? What do you mean for after asking? Wait more. <laughs> Come on. Say it. Uh, you know, you know, you know. You know that something is about to happen. You know that I carry something. You know that there's a promise over my life. You know that there's an oil over my life. You know that there's a blessing over my life. You know that there's a program of God over my life. And that worries you. It worries you. It worries you. So you try to stop it. You can try, but you can't stop it. It is going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So they know it and they are worried. Observers are always. Tell somebody, who lock him? Ask somebody, who lock him? Who lock him? Who lock him, Yana? Or should I say in Gang? Who lock him? 
Or should I say it in a, in a journey? Who rock, who, who, who rock in me? And then, 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 Hallelujah. You can't lock me up. You can't lock me up in your yesterday. You may try, but it won't work. You may do everything, it won't work. You can't lock me. Jump from your chair and say, it is impossible. And, and, and then principle number two. Principle number two. Today, I thank God the clock is not working. <laughs> <laughs> Today, my, my luck you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's working. Hmm. Did, they, did they put it there just now? Shit, this is <laughs> Okay. Uh, I open close. Oh. <laughs> the second one, principle, principle of mismatch. The principle of mismatch. God wants to do something. Then you, you select a bongo to go and defend what you think you have. Abba, you, you, you select soldiers. We call soldiers in our local language without them being offended. We call them a bongo. Go ask for them. Order. It's order. Master say, make I slap you. I go slap you. As for them, you know, who were in te- on tech campus, then we decided we we're going to do a riot. Yes. All of a sudden, they sent the, what do, that battalion, what do they call them? Something, something, battalion. They sent them to campus. And there's one guy amongst us, Christian brother, he's macho. His mouth is worse than Reverend Marquis. So <laughs> he can provoke a fight just now. And I don't know what happened at Republic Hall. But I came to my hall in Katanga, sat down quietly. And every time, he, said, he didn't tell me anything, he just sat down. Every few minutes, hmm. Then I look at him, what? Then he say, hmm. What? He say, hmm. Then he turned his face a little bit to look at something. Then I saw the hand of God <laughs> at the side of his face. The slap, I don't know whether it was there, but I just saw mark. Yet the mark of the resurrection is there. And then I asked him, what happened? Say, hmm. Something like that. And then you say, hmm. In God, you say, hey, I'm a yimmy. Then I say, what? You say, hmm. One slap. Then the sun shifted. And the moon also shifted. And darkness became light. And light, the, and I didn't know where I was. That is a soldier for you. And guess what? They set soldiers at the place just in case somebody tries to do something funny. One slap, that will send that person between hell and heaven. The person will hang. And the soldiers there, what was a mismatch? Many soldiers, but one angel. 
many soldiers and one angel hey, they can gather around you and marshal every force but what God wants to do God said I'll only send one person I'll send a divine messenger and I came to prophesy to somebody there's an angel on your way uh, there's an angel on your case there's an angel bringing you good news there's an angel supervising the good news hallelujah and he just didn't roll the stone he rolled the stone and sat on it like if you're a man come for it hey if you are a man, come for it. You think you are a man? Come for it. I'm sitting there. My goodness. Isn't it so powerful? This is where it becomes mission impossible. For every man to attempt to, re to change what God wants to do. When he opens the door, it cannot be shut. And when he, when he shuts the door, it cannot be sh I see an open door before you. I see men attempting to, to, to unravel and to close that door. But I still hear the word, dun, 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 dun. Hallelujah. You can't change what God wants to do. You can't, you will try, but you can't. Pharaoh tried, he couldn't. Pharaoh tried, he couldn't. Hallelujah. The devil tried, but he couldn't. Why? Because whatever is written, it's written. The next principle, did you see the state of the soldiers? The battle said, just one move of God. They were lying down as dead men. Wait a minute. As dead men. Okay. That means they were lying and behaving like dead people, but they were not dead. What's the thing about dead men? They can't hear. They can't see. They can't smell. They can't touch. There's nothing. All the five senses are dead. Ah. But the Bible says, as dead men, so it means... They didn't die, so they can see. They can hear. When you kick them, they don't have a... And they are there. So they are seeing everything that was going. They saw the stone being rolled away. They saw the angel taking his time and sitting on it. And they are lying there. They are soldiers... There are people who have power. They are not these nati nati people that you see. That when you do, they will disappear. These people are macho people. They train every morning. They do everything. They are fighters. And they are lying down as dead. Can I say something? No matter what they do, God will render them impotent. God, when God decides to go on your case... When God decides to visit your issue, every opposition and every hindrance and everything that men can conjure to fight and intimidate you out of the blessing of God, God will render it impotent. They may bring their fetish priest. They may call your name in places they shouldn't mention your name. They may arrange people to conspire against you and to do you in. But jump from your chair and say, speed. Well, let me say it properly. Oh. 
Now, I end on the last principle. Then we close. Now, the Bible then says, these same people, then they went to the Pharisees and the priests, and they told them everything. So, I told you that they saw everything. But they couldn't do anything about it. They told the priest everything. <coughs> they spoke about the earthquake. They spoke about angel. They spoke about the process of a stone being rolled. They told everything. And then when they told them everything, then they gave them money. And they said, keep quiet. Tell someone, give me money right now. Give me money right now. So that I'll keep quiet. No, no, I'm going to tell you something very interesting. Uh, give me money right now. No, no. Uh, okay. uh, get money. <laughs> give, me, get, give me money right now. Please don't look at me. Look at the person sitting by you. Mary, look at him. Tell him give me money right now. <laughs> give me money right now. Oh, you, and that's what don't ask my wife. <laughs> Uh, ask him. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is someone who said, We are prepared to do. Give me money right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the purpose of the money was to bribe them to keep quiet so that nobody would know. So the only people at that place who knew the story were the soldiers, the priests. And the Pharisees, isn't it? The people giving the money and the people receiving the money. So, and the purpose was that nobody would know. So, how did the story leak out? How did the story leak out? I'm asking, how did the story leak out? How did the story leak out? Those who are giving, the possibilities are two. Those who are giving and those who are receiving. So guess what? The soldiers, when they left there, when they told his wife, the best thing to do, if you want to spread a message. <laughs> I've not said anything, oh, please. <laughs> My mother is here, please. The best thing to do, oh, you don't know, John 4. Jesus meets a woman. I, yeah, I'll quote scriptures so that you know. The thing I'm saying, I'll quote you two scriptures, Old Testament and New Testament, then you know. And then what happened? Jesus spoke to just one woman. Then she went to town. Hey, come, come, oh, come and see you. The man who has told me everything about myself since I was born. Hey, everybody, come, 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 come. Hey. And so even when the men of the city came, after they came and they said, Jesus, they said, now we believe you, not because of what they said, but because our eyes have seen. Because these people, they have added sugar. They have added salt. And they have added pepper together. Sugar, salt, and pepper. It is called shito down. <laughs> and guess what? So they're going home, they told their wives. And their wives told their best friend and their best friend told their best friend and their best friend's best friend told their best friend's best friend and so best friend, best friend, best friend so by the time they, what do you call bestie a bestie a bestie <laughs> and then the Pharisees also went home and told their wife hmm something has happened though now we all have to be careful. Then the wife will say, oh, what is it? Then the, then the man will say, I can't tell you. Hmm. Every woman knows that in every man is the ability of something. You just rub his head. Sure, each eye. Tell me, oh, dear, tell me. Oh, you don't love me, tell me. Love me, love me, mother, tell me. Tell me. And that's what I'm And my mother said, and my mother even told me that you are a witch. I shouldn't have married you. My mother would say, Why, 
black woman you don't know. And every man is a Samson. Get him at the right place. He'll tell you things he had done even since he was in his mother's womb. Just, you people don't know. You don't know the strategy. Because you are a and a rock and bend it. <laughs> you get it? Oh, oh, tell me. I'll tell you. Oh, hmm. tell me. Their best food when they are eating, wash their hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll continue the rest. It's called after. It's called dessert after. Before, say it. So they told their wives. Immediately they turned on. They turned to their friend. Their friend came to visit. <laughs> now these wonderful things are happening. No. Hey, um, me. I, I can't tell anybody. Mm, wonderful things are happening. Mm, hey, feel a day. Oh, feel a day. Uh, I say more, oh, I say more. Then the best one is say, oh, let me take a chair and sit down. <laughs> and before you realize, the information is out. Can I tell you something? The very same people who said they should be quiet, it was the very same people who went and made the noise. Ah, isn't it, isn't it interesting? The very same people who wouldn't like your testimony to go out. They are the very same people who will begin to shout out your testimony. The very same people who said don't say anything. The very same people who said don't go up. The very same people who said nothing can happen. They will be the very same people who will say, Hey! Am I talking to somebody? Tell somebody you are the very same person who will say, Hey! Hallelujah! Jump from your chair and clap for somebody and tell the person, I came to celebrate your testimony. I came to celebrate your progress. I came to celebrate your prosperity. I will say it. I will noise it. I will tell the whole world. Oh, you have been sitting down and singing, Yemi Uze Jenny. My for the third day I sense an earthquake on your behalf the plates are shifting the plates are shifting they're shifting on your behalf there's a testimony about you stones of prison have been rolled in the name of Jesus angels are sat on it that means it is irreversible those who gather and to guard against your testimony God has rendered them impotent and the very same people who said nothing good will happen 
They are the very same people who go talking about your testimony. Lift up your voice in prayer into it right now. Lift up your voice into prayer right now. presence all over this place. Can somebody shout, give God praise, celebrate the Hello, people of God. We are so glad you joined our service today. On behalf of our General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markley and First Lady, Rev. Dr. Mrs. Davina Markley, thank you for joining us. 2024 is our year of divine speed. Amen. May I have your attention for the following announcements. Plug-in prayers are getting powerful. We are praying into the declarations made by our Papa in this year of divine speed. Send your prayer requests and testimonies. Join in and God will answer your prayers. Plug-in happens on Zoom every Friday at 4.30 a.m. Set your alarm and don't miss it. The prayer link will be shared on all LSI platforms. This is our year of divine speed and we are receiving it in double. Amen. Join us at LifeCell and experience genuine connections and real conversations about life and faith. LifeCell happens every Tuesday at 7 p.m. You can sign up at the front desk if you don't belong to a LifeCell. LifeCell, living in fullness every day, the God way. Join us here every Wednesday for a midweek service with our Papa, Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markway, as he breaks down biblical principles. The time is 6.30 p.m. sharp. Amen? The Men's Ministry of LSI, the Royals, will have a brief update meeting immediately after the service. All men are highly encouraged to be part of this important meeting. Royals, E-squared, empowered and elevated. The month of April is finally here! Get ready for an explosive, multi-purpose, multi-directional and multi-instructive summit. LSI presents Wealth Summit 2024, a three-day conference happening from Friday the 26th of April to Sunday the 28th of April. On Friday, day one, there will be both a morning session and an evening session. The morning session is themed Prayer for Wealth and the evening session is themed Power for Wealth. Yes, we will hear a prophetic word pray and make declarations into our finances hallelujah saturday day two is a business breakfast meeting themed principles of wealth where the principles required to navigate wealth power and influence will be taught and finally sunday day three is themed praise for wealth the climax of the summit day one morning service will happen here at 8 a.m and the evening service is at 6 30 p.m Day 2, which is a breakfast meeting, is happening at the La Palm Royal Beach in the Adai Kese Hall at 8 a.m. sharp. And Day 3 is a single service here at 8 a.m. The hosts are Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markway, General Overseer, Living Streams International, and Rev. Dr. Mrs. Davina Markway, First Lady of Living Streams International. Guest speakers for the breakfast meeting are Rev. Dr. Michael Gwedi Nyaminche, the General Overseer of the Maker's House Chapel International. Mr. Humphrey Awolete Williams, Group Chairman of Oswald Investments Limited, and Mrs. Mary Boateng Coleman, CEO of Brassica Capital. Register for the breakfast meeting at the registration desk outside or scan the QR code displayed on the screen now. In this season of divine speed, God is raising people of wealth, people of power, and people of influence. 
So invite someone to be there and unlock the divine secrets to financial abundance at our Wealth Summit 2024. Thank you for your attention. This is the People Oriented Church, Living Streams International, where life flows.